Must be hard on you, girl. Old Harry being away so long. Still, I'll say this for him. He could hardly wait for those visiting days to come round. Don't worry about him, Lily. He'll be home soon. Of course he will. Cheer up. Well, what harm can it do? Old Harry will never know. And even if he did, he shouldn't begrudge me. Nor her company. And it'll round off the tea nicely. I don't know what you must think of me. I bet you ain't been with many blokes besides Harry. I haven't been with anyone. Big place for little girl coming up in. Hello, Frank. What do you want to eat? I I'm not hungry. Just a cup of tea, please. You must eat something. No, thank you. Just tea with sugar. Frank, they look a bit dodgy. No. What's the fancy dress for? Got a rose outside, ain't I? You're almost a stranger, Alfie. Why didn't you turn up? Oh, sorry, darling. I couldn't make it. Uh, a small tea and a slice of butter toast, please. You won't get far in cups of tea. I'll be all right. Who's the mystery? That one Frank brought in. You want to watch it, Alfie? That's Frank's bird. Uh, it's not my type anyway. I just go and check those ropes, see they're all right. You okay? Bit dead in here, though, isn't it? I think I'll have a tune. They're now got some old ones, haven't they? Yes. Do you come in with Frank? Yes, why? Uh, he's a good bloke, Frank. Good mate. Yes, he seems nice. Yeah. he share his last cigarette with you. Very good art it is, Frank. You know what? He'll even share his birds with his mates. One bloke told me he'll even lend his wife. Like the Eskimos do. I wouldn't fancy that. Well, I mean, she's so bad tempered. I didn't think he was married. Oh, yes, you've got at least one wife. Well, I mean, being a long distance lorry driver, he's away from home every other night, see? If 
funny, some bloke, don't they? I wouldn't like anything like that, sharing a girl, would you? No. Where are you making for? Well, London. Any particular place? Not really. I, I'd like to get a room and a job if I could. Yeah. I might be able to help you. I know the personnel officer of a big toppy factory. Lovely little number, that is. Could I see you in London, then? See me in London? I could take you down there. But I'm... I've got a Rolls Royce out there. Radio, heater, the lot. But I should have to tell that man Frank first. Oh, we don't wish that. You'll knock your block off. It's mine, too. See that door there? Well, 50 yards down the road, there's a telephone kiosk. You wait for me there. I don't like doing that. You don't want to be frightened of me. I ain't a wolf, you know. Go on, before he comes back. You don't want sharing, do you? No. No, of course you don't. Go on, where you go. Would you please tell that driver I came in with that I'm sorry, but he's had to go? I'll tell him. How much are you, Flo? Uh, one and a penny. Here you are. You ain't going yet, Alfie. Yeah, I find him in a bit of a hurry all of a sudden. What about your chest, then? Give it to Frank. He could do with a slice. <laughs> See ya. See ya, Alfie. Did you see the way he lapped it up? Can't see what they all see in him. Frank will go raving mad when he comes back. Good. Sit back and enjoy yourself, girl. Do you folks at home know where you're going? I haven't got any. Ah, oh, there must be somebody. I want to make a new start in London. Well, I reckon you've landed on your feet. You'll have a great little life with me. It ain't come up too bad, has it? All it needed was a good wash and a bit of care and attention. It's quite dainty. You know what I mean? Here, I no sooner take a pair of socks off than it washes them. And it can cook too. A bit limited on the menu, it goes in mostly the Lancashire hot pot and steak and kidney pie. They blow you out a bit, but it does do a marvellous egg custard. I ain't never tasted nothing like it. It's pretty fair on the other and all. It's a bit on the shy side, but I find it makes quite a change these days. Oi, turn it down a bit, Annie. It's in love, see? Now, when it listens to that stuff, it daydreams that the bloke who threw it over will one day want it back. What a bleed note. Just watch how it works. Scrub, scrub, scrub. It takes some birds like that. Not all of them. Can I get you a cup of tea, Alfie? Take it easy. You always want to be doing something. Here. I had a bird once. A big, fat thing it was. Got crossed in love or something. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. She used to sit in front of the fire all day long, smoking cigarettes and drinking tea, till her shins were burnt red raw. Kiss a cup of tea, brack and chins, I said to it one time. What, it said? You paralysed? I soon got rid of it. Are you going visiting your friend at the sanatorium, Alfie? Old Harry? Yeah, I thought I would. You fancy a ride in a car, girl? I've some washing to do. You're always bleeding washing. Why don't you take a rest? I feel better if I'm doing something, Alfie. Oh, well, if it makes you feel better, I'm not going to stop you. Punishes itself, you see. That way, life can't get at it the same. What time will you be back, Alfie? Now, girl, you shouldn't ask me that. When I go out that door, I don't know what day I'll be back, let alone what time. I'm what is called a free agent. Sorry, Alfie. I just thought I'd have your meal ready. Make a meal that's always ready. Ash or stew or something. I thought I'd do something special. Get those boots for me, will you, girl? See? Even she started asking me when I'll be back. Know what? That little remark could be the writing on the wall. Annie? Yes? When are you going to start using those gloves I bought you? You'll ruin your hands, what with all that scrubbing and whatnot. They don't matter. They may not matter to you, but they matter to me. Nothing puts me